Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is Saturday, March 16th and I'm going to be vlogging my day for you. We are going over to Sakatone for a fair. It's called Mulchuta, I believe. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or not, but they are having a fair and a bunch of events going on this weekend. There's going to be a powwow, rodeo, vendor setup, and a bunch of other things. And so I wanted to go check it out this weekend. Sakatone, it's a reservation to the Gila River tribe. Also, I think there's going to be music performances in the evening, but I don't know how long we're gonna end up staying for. It's about noon right now, but I definitely wanna check out the powwow and the vendors. Um, but yeah, I'm all ready to go and we are gonna head over. The only thing I don't know if I'm allowed to bring in is my vlogging camera. If I'm not allowed to bring in my camera, I think I'll just use my phone camera. I guess we'll see when we get there, but I feel like I want to show you my outfit. Um, where can I set you guys? All right, so I actually thrifted this top in Tucson and it's from Madewell, which is one of my favorite brands out there. And I was so excited to find a Madewell top. So I'm going to be wearing this today and then I have these denim jeans, which I also got from Madewell. I love their denim, and for shoes, I am wearing my black Converse. And that is my outfit for the day. And then for my jewelry, I'm just keeping it simple and wearing these, I think they're pink shell earrings. But I think it's gonna be on the uh, cooler side today, so I'm gonna bring a light jacket just in case as well. Before heading over to the fair, we got some food and I'm gonna be trying these breakfast burritos. I think this is the potato, egg, and cheese one and there's no meat in it. And then also gonna drink this Alani drink. All right, so we made it inside. The line was really long to get in. And it turns out it was cash only, so we had to go to an ATM to check out money. We stopped at this booth on the way in, and they were selling Navajo tea. And it's really hot, so I got one, and this is a peach flavor Navajo tea. <laughs> We were sitting over by the powwow for a little bit and just watching the dances um, and kind of just taking a little break. But I think we're gonna go check out the vendors right now and see what they're selling. If I could tell you, I don't think you'd believe this way right, so we kind of walked around for a little bit and walked around the carnival area i got some tickets because i really i really want to go on the ferris wheel um but i'm gonna see if my parents want to come on there with us and then we got hungry and i saw they had some ribbon fries so i'm gonna eat this so you pack up your car because you're going far away from here
So we made it home and I'm just laying in my bed right now. I changed into my pajamas, but yeah, it was a long day. We really wanted to see the rodeo and we thought they were done because like in the afternoon, the whole rodeo area was empty, but we checked the schedule and I guess they were starting up again in the evening. So we waited until... I think until six o'clock and then they started the rodeo up back again and so we just kind of sat there and watched for a bit and then at seven o'clock Lil John was performing at the concert stage area so we walked over and just kind of listened for a little bit it was like really cold um, and I didn't bring like a really big jacket or anything, but I don't really like, I don't really listen to Lil Jon, but I feel like I've heard his music like just here and there. So yeah, we listened for a little bit and then decided to head out from there. But overall, I think it was a really fun day. Getting to the event, there was some traffic and it did take a while. I feel like they could have done more to control the traffic or like direct people and whatnot. Um, but yeah, we finally got there and once we got there, I guess their machines were down so we had to go check out some cash um, for admission and the lines are really long. Um, so it just, it just kind of took a while just getting into the event itself. But once we got inside the event, there's a lot of different things going on. So yeah, once you got in, like your admission, paid for everything. You didn't have to pay to like go to any other like area. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. It kind of reminded me of the Western Navajo Fair a little bit. Oh, and I did get one thing from the vendors. Let me show you what I got. I got a coaster. It's really cute and I don't know, I just kind of been obsessed with coasters. I don't know, they're like a staple to have. So I saw this coaster and I was like, oh, it'd be so cute to put it in my office. And so whenever I have a drink um, at my desk, I'll have this really cute coaster to put it on. Um, yeah, so it was $5. Before coming home, we went and got some Mexican food to go. So I just got some enchiladas to eat for dinner tonight and yeah, I think the plan is just to rest up for the rest of the night. I feel pretty tired. Um, also, I missed Peanut, like, a lot. <laughs> I always feel bad when, like, we spend a day away from her or whatnot. She wasn't alone at the house, but, like, I always miss her whenever I go somewhere for the day. And I love when, like, we come in, like, when we come in. Hi, baby. She's right here. Hi, baby. Do you want to see my coaster that I got? Do you want to see it? <laughs> she loves to smell things. <laughs> I love you, babes. <laughs> Her paws are all heavy. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. Um, yes, I always miss her so much whenever I leave for a day. And whenever we come back home, like, she's so excited to greet us. And she's always, like, zooming around, jumping on us. And, I don't know, makes me so happy. <laughs> She gives us like a really happy greeting. I don't know, I love it. She's so cute. I'm making a drink and I'm gonna be mixing some tart cherry juice with a strawberry sparkling water and I'm gonna have it iced. So here's what I got to eat. I got some cheese enchiladas with a side of rice and beans. It looks really good, so I'm excited to eat. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I really want to cover more native events because they're really fun to go to and I know like not everybody 
I guess has the ability to attend. Maybe they don't have the time, the money, or it's just a lot of traveling. And so for me, when I share these events online, I'm just in my mind thinking of like, I'm bringing my audience along with me to also experience the event wherever they are. Um, and then also it may inspire you to look up some native events in your area to attend as well. And yeah, I just, I don't know, I want to attend more native events and share them online with you guys to kind of just bring you along with me. And they're really fun. I always have a really good time. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye!